Hi guys, I've had a request to do a question involving um, neutralization and pH. Um, so what we have here is we've got a solution that contains three moles per liter of sulfuric acid and it's mixed with another solution containing 25 or 0 0.25 moles a liter of sodium hydroxide. What is the pH of the resulting mixture? Okay, so whenever I do any of these problems, I always write out a balanced equation so I know what I'm dealing with. So let's start by writing our balanced equation. So it's going to be H2SO4 plus 2NaOH that gives Na2SO4 four plus two H two O. So we're not I'm not including any of the um, um, states or any of the ions. I'm I'm purely doing this so I can see the ratio of sulfuric acid to sodium hydroxide. So we can see here that the ratio of um, H2SO4 to NaOH is 1 is to 2. Now that's going to become important soon enough. So what we do is now that I think the best thing to do is to work out um, how many moles of each of these uh, species are going to be present in their respective solutions. So we'll go back to blue. And so we're going to go the number of moles of H2SO4 is equal to concentration times volume, which is equal to the concentration of this is 0 0.3 times the volume, which is 25 mils. So in litres, that's going to be 0 0.0. .0 25 and that's going to equal 0 0.0075 or 7.5 times 10 to the negative 3 moles and we then also do the number of moles of sodium hydroxide which is equal to, again, concentration times volume. And in this case, we have a concentration of 0 0.25 times a volume of 40 mils, or 0 0.04. And we're left with 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2 moles. Cool. So now that we have both of their both like moles of each solution, what we can do now is we've got to work out what the limiting reagent of this um, equation or this mixture is going to be. Now the reason that we need that is because whatever the limiting reagent is, the other one is going to be left over after all of the neutralization that can be done is done. So what we do is we have a look and we know that our um, sulfuric acid has to have at least half as much of the moles as the sodium hydroxide from this 1 to 2 relationship. So we have a look at these and we go, if we were to multiply 7.5 times 10 to the negative 3 by 2, we'd get 1.5 times 10 to the negative 2. So we can use this ratio here to show that sodium hydroxide is going to be our limiting reagent. So let's just change colour for a sec. And we're just going to make a little note to ourselves. So what we can do then is, so from our limiting reagent, we can then figure out 
how many moles of this sulfuric acid is going to be consumed. So, if we have 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2 moles of sodium hydroxide, it's going to, using our ratio here, it's going to be 1 is to 2. So, if we have H2SO4 is to NaOH, we've got 1 is to 2. So if we then go, this is, instead of being 2, it's going to be equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2. We're going to need 5. times 10 to the negative 3. So that's exactly half of that. Sorry about that, I had a bit of a mental blank. So once we've done that, we can see that 5 times 10 to the 3, or 5 times 10 to the 3, so therefore, mole of H2SO4, will be cool. So, if we have that many mole of H2SO4 neutralized, we will have this, the total amount of moles, subtract this remaining. So, we can also write therefore 2.5 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of H2SO4 remain. Cool. So we need to calculate the pH of the resulting mixture. So to calculate pH, we use the formula pH is equal to the negative log to the base 10 of H plus ion concentration. Now, for us to be able to get this H plus ion concentration, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to work out what the ratio of H2SO4 to H plus ions is. So if we just take this over here for a sec, we know that 1 H2SO4 is going to give 2 H plus ions. So that will obviously mean if we have this many moles of H2SO4 remaining, we're going to get double this, or 5 times 10 to the negative 3, moles of H plus ions. So, if we have that many moles of H+, we also need to work out pH, they need to be, we need to have the concentration of H+, ions. So what we do is we use the formula concentration of H+, is equal to number of moles divided by volume, which is 0 0.005. Divided by 0 0.25 add 0. Point, sorry, 0 0.025 add 0 0.04. So those are our two volumes when we add them both together. So if we work that out, we get a value of 0 0.0769 and that's going to be in moles per litre. So then finally we then just convert, well plug this concentration value into this formula. So we're going to plug that in there And we're going to get the pH 
is equal to the negative log the base 10 of 0 0.0769 and that gives us a pH of 1.114. So as you can see, the resulting solution is still quite acidic. So I hope this helps. Um, the, the big thing you have to be able to get in here is the um, ratios. First of all, from the ratio of H2SO4 to NaOH, and then the ratio of H2SO4 to H plus ions that it's going to produce. So once you've figured all of that out, it's quite easy just to plug in the values that you get into any particular concentration formula or pH formula to get an answer. So I hope that helped and I'll see you again next time.